Good evening. My name is Zions, and I'm right where I left off. Switch is kind of cool like that. But we're actually going to put a pin in this. Ooh, really close to this. <sighs> that is so tempting. We're gonna I just said we're gonna put a pin in it. We're putting a pin in it. We're coming back. We're gonna go do some more story stuff. I I'm really curious what's going on with the pirates that are supposedly down here in this region. But this isn't one of the story regions right now, so I'm going to check out... Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, what do I have in my inventory? For, like, resistance foods, because we need cold resist. And then heat resist. And then both for the desert. Where, where, where do we go? Oh. Cover up. Yeah. <coughs> Anyways, last time we got this cool uh, water clone. He does this. It's pretty rad. <laughs> Side on the sage now, officially. But that doesn't. I mean, the time before that, we straight up killed this guy, and then he came right back before I was even done streaming the next the next time. So, freaking Gleok. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'll kill him again, but not because I, not because he made me mad, because I want to. Let's see. I've got more geoglyphs that I need to grab. I've got the picture of those. Man, I just actually don't know what I want to do. I'm, I'm actually stunned for choices. Uh, let's go. The thing about the volcano is I can make one potion, and then I can get more potion ingredients, and that's usually kind of how it goes. To prevent fire damage over time. <clears throat> I bought the lizards to make one pro potion, so I think I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna drop down this no, that's a shrine. Uh where's the Yeah, let's go to the shrine. There's I know that the tower's like within sight of where I killed the Gliok, so I'm gonna go to that tower and head up the Kala region into the volcano region. From there. Because there's some stuff going on in Akala that I want to take a look at. Man, I wonder how different having... My, my my water clone here. I wonder how different it makes this fight. He didn't seem... He's electrical, but he didn't seem to be weak to water. <clears throat> which is kind of what I was expecting. But he also causes a thunderstorm, so... Being weak to water wouldn't really make any sense, would it? I don't know. It's all too confusing for me. Elemental weaknesses in an action game. Just shoot him with arrows and then beat him with a really powerful stick until he dies. Have guts. Use your guts. <laughs> Hello? Scree! Ooh, those are strong. Buddy, I need your water. <laughs> Bastard. 
best menu ever. My favorite thing about the game. Yeah. <clears throat> Fight on, buddy. I'm sorry, Phantom Ganon? Excuse me? Alright, you bu buddy, you wanna tangle? Let's do it then. You think you're so terrifying? You think you can just show up? Well then, try me! Ow. Zidon, please, come here. I need your help. Her. Your attack is really hard to dodge. Whoa, easy. Easy, friend. You don't get to permanently delete my health bar. A bow? That's new. <clears throat> Can you, like, actually come at me? There we go. This is what I wanted. me. <clears throat> you cad. You cur. You think you can just show up uninvited on my adventure, on my chill stream, while I'm trying to relax. Thought about it. Bad idea. Well, I have news for you. I don't appreciate you. <laughs> Man, his attack is like, it's weird. It's kind of hard to, to dodge because it just feels weirdly timed. Like, the tell to the swing coming out ratio isn't, like, horrifying or anything. Ooh, oh. Um, that sounds like a bad thing. Why are you highlighting it in blue? Yeah. What? Ooh. The higher your max hearts, the more its attack power improves. 
Jesus, that's interesting. Uh, gloom resist. By eating, I eat the gloom to resist the gloom. Uh, Oh yeah, I probably should have eaten this. For safety. Oh well. If I open this menu... No. Is there like a... There isn't really a faster way to... Ah! <laughs> Clump of wood on my bow. Well. That was an experience. Those hands had a lot of health. I wonder if those guys... I've heard of these guys, actually, now that I think about it. <clears throat> I wonder if they show up after you've done your first temple. And, like, I wonder if they can't show up before then. It's not like an encounter. They just, like, randomly appeared. Hey, he doesn't have anything useful. Okay, what was I doing? Akala. Tower. Then Terrytown. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to have an adventure. My poor Zora shield. I, I had to block so many attacks because I just wasn't like prepared it's, it's it's it wasn't like hard to dodge there was something about the timing that was throwing me off because he kind of like he has his tell and then he like waits and i think the timing between his tell and his attack was just like a little awkward and i think that might be by design what are you doing Oh, you're not the sign guy. <clears throat> yeah, actually, that's exactly why I came this way. Ah. Ah. The terminal's not attached. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna retrieve it. You're gonna bring it to me. Come on. You know what you did. Get down here. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Does that help you come closer? <laughs> no? Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Ah. I will hide out of you, it might come closer, or I could just... Whoop, back this way. Alternatively, I could just use the game mechanics. And... Got him. There it is. Terminals not nailed down. You gotta be kidding me. Hop, 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 hop. Where are they screaming at? I can't believe how powerful the tracking effect is on the eyeball arrows. Ah. Uh. Really? It doesn't seem like you would have a hard time. Aren't you a builder? Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow, thanks. That wasn't passive-aggressive at all. 
If I can throw it seven feet. It's actually more like ten feet. If I can throw it ten feet, you can carry it. Oh. It's not that heavy. Ah. Unreal. Guess not all things have changed in Hyrule. Not everyone's become useful. It's that cube I keep seeing. <clears throat> or it's at least a cube. Like the one I keep seeing. Humdi dum. And fiddle dee dee. There we go. Hey, there's a... What was that? Was that a chasm in the eye of that skull rock place? There's a big chasm over here, but there's also like a tiny chasm, I'm pretty sure. Interesting, not what I'm here for. Oh. Also not what I'm here for. But, you know, right next to me. And very interesting indeed. I'll take it. Quest accepted. There are fans everywhere. And I think I know why. I think. Before I start using my Zora shirt, or my Zora sword, I should. Fun music for this guy. It's just. <laughs> that hurt. Like, a lot. <laughs> My poor water clone of Sidon. I kind of was hoping for a unique device, but whatever. If only I had a strong Zonite weapon. Hmm. When does the toll take place? Whatever. Too shabby. Anyways, um, I fought the mini boss. Was there like a point to this place? Oh right, I better grab the chest. Those are important. Should be number three, if it's what I think it is. It's not. Thought it was gonna be one of the another. Oh. So all the old maps are going to show me underground locations. They're not just going to be locations, generally speaking. They're all going to be underground. They're that old. Maybe... no... You would think... 
that it, that would be consistent that you'd get those uh you know i you know maybe i thought wrong i i, I was thinking those will of uh what are they called sage's wills I, I was thinking those were all like from fighting mini boss from fighting like zonite mini bosses but oh hello hmm i sure wish i could capture these in my own capsules Possibly and badly. Da 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 da. Oh God! That's why they didn't use four batteries. They get horribly off balance at that rate. Um. I mean, it's cool, but. Am I supposed to go somewhere with it? The thing about the Zonite devices is like, where am I supposed to take them? <laughs> what am I to do with such a device, even if I built my own at like an opportune time? Where could I go with such a thing? I can't even find this flower island that I'm right on the map. What's that? What's that? Gonna be enough. I thought I was way closer. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. So I got up here with that device. But I really don't think there have ever been islands this close to another island I could easily get to. Like, just building a flying machine hasn't seemed like the way to go. Watch out! Wow. <laughs> that looks painful. Oops. Interesting. Um. So I can just, like. I can just build a turret, then. That, that's just. I build a turret with that. Or, like. Well, I mean, I could build a vehicle that rams them, but I've had really rough luck trying to get anything like that to work. Oh. Um, where's the shrine? And where's the actual shrine? Oh. Seek. Oh. If I go into the sphere... 
find a crystal, and then I have to get the crystal over here and offer it up. All right. Is catapulting it allowed? I've had some experience with catapults in this game. of those birds means anything. Sometimes birds flying around means there's something interesting. <clears throat> Seems like crows seem to hover around uh, uh, chasms. So if you can see crows, you might find a chasm underneath them. That should be easy enough to reach. I probably don't even need to do anything to get over there. Like, anything special, I can probably just glide and climb up, honestly. Have this thing launch me over there. Is this gonna hurt? Should I put, like, a platform or something down? Wait. That's just the shrine. This is just actually the shrine. You can't fool me. What the? built me a catapult to use instead of making my own. Oh. <laughs> Beetle side on. He's fine. I wonder if I'm going to get upgrades to my arm powers in this. All the runes got upgrades in Breath of the Wild. Well, did all of them get upgrades or just most of them? Oh, that's what you could use a stake for. That's clever. Whoops. Well, ruin that. That's okay. That's also a great way to use multiple springs. Just stick a platform on top. I'm gonna have to aim this real carefully if I don't want it to just ricochet off that. Would have been a lot easier if it was still angled, but I think we can make it work. It's not that far. What are the consequences of losing this? Probably just comes back. Everything just comes back. Eventually. The stakes are low. Nope. That stake that I was gonna use is broken. <laughs> okay, gotta be real 
precise here. Excuse me. Offer this to the vending machine. How, how many parts does this count for? Um, the whole thing. We'll have to restock, I guess. That tree is interesting. But it has golden apples. See, it just is the shrine. That wasn't a crystal, you lied to me. I was gonna be rich. I mean. Yes, I see. Please let me go. Just because you fix the loading times doesn't mean you get to make me watch everything. blob. I was supposed to be doing story stuff. I got distracted. There was a flying machine and an island and now there's another island with a tree on it and I gotta go see that. That cube's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Call it the Leg Breaker 9000. Away! Oh. Regular apples. And a pine cone. Oh, and a Korok. And yet, I collect all of them. Why? Except one. Uh, that's close enough to Terrytown. We'll do it. I wanted to see Terrytown. Oh. 
sweet. There's the Gleok we killed. Already alive again. Jerk. Oh, I was supposed to be catching it. I thought it was going to make a ring for me to fly through. That's probably why I never found where that other one went. Oh, nice that it automatically opens the glider for me after I talk to him. Digging graves for Hinoxes now. You know they just come back, right? What is this buried for? I can't activate it. Hey, it's you. The Goron, with the name ending in Sun. Yeah. I think that might be a different Goron. Oh. What's up, kitty? Mm. Isn't, isn't Yonobo the new Goron champion? Hm. Did he start a business? Oh. And apparently I'm not allowed to know about it. Weird. Great, they did make all the towers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Terrytown race. Huh. Well, this towel sounds like a fun distraction. What kind of wheels are those? I'm not allowed to have them. There we go. Oh, small wheel. They're just wheels, but smaller. I thought they might do something. up and grab me. Well, how to ask to get up here? You don't have to reach up and grab me. Aww. Hmm. You need a stick. A special stick to control them.
I don't think I even have any of those in my inventory, so I actually can't help with this. Unless I go find one and carry it all the way back here, or I guess drive it back here. There's no telling where that vehicle I was flying around went to. But I also cannot control these, so I will be off. Uh, come on. I'm curious about this rail they built. And then I should probably go into the actual town for a moment. Oh, it's just a device they built. Cool. damage to their rail car a little. This thing does not run very well. Also, do all these guys have their own, like, pocket batteries to power these things? Because I need pocket power batteries. If I smack this again, I'm going to break it. This thing sucks. I do like how they don't have the magic light glue, so they have to, like, wire it together. Um. <laughs> this thing does not work right. Um. I would like to use the rail car, yes. Seriously? I'm not paying for it. <laughs> I founded this town on my own. I'm not paying for anything. Give me that. How much? <laughs> not for that price. Go lower. I really don't want it right now. Don't I know any of these people? I don't have that money. His name is Haggle, but with an I <laughs> and one G. Hey, dude. Oh. guy that like set all this whole thing up mm -hmm. yeah oh. looks like it Oh. 
Ooh. Oh, she's going Ooh. to Gerudo Town. How old is she? <laughs> then they start to become more aware of the world around them. Someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. Wow, so this guy just doesn't get to see his daughter until she's 18. That kind of sucks. Oh. game like Gerudo women travel out into the world to meet their to meet their match huh. didn't this place have more buildings at the end of the first game I feel like this place was more built up last time I saw it. Oh, you can separate items without destroying them. region and then head out from there. What was the stable around here? Go back to the tower. Like actually go somewhere from the tower. Kitty cat, you don't look comfortable at all. You could go sit on this soft blanket I set over here for you. That would be awfully comfortable. No. Not gonna do it. Okay. You really look uncomfortable, though. What the? It's already back! <laughs> Is it just come back when you leave? What? I mean, I guess it wouldn't make sense for them to come back with the Blood Moon, but that's so weird. Good to know I can come up here and get this control stick when I want to do that quest. Good to know. Now, what was I up to? No, I think that's really close to where the stable was in this region. I want to say there was another stable somewhere around here, though. Wait. 
I gotta remember to look for stuff like that while I'm up in the skies. Seems like they got rid of all the good food on the surface. A stable. Let's go to that one. I don't know if it's the same stable as last time, but it's there. In the zone where I'm looking for it. Oh my goodness, kitty cat. You do not seem comfortable at all. You really could go to lay down somewhere and be super comfy and still really close to me. for weapons. If I could find a stick, I could make a fan and blow that away. But, let's just do this instead. And come back to it later. Before I forget where I was going. Oh, kitty. You don't have to climb up on the desk and knock everything over. There are comfy spots for you. Why won't you take them? Oh. There's another shrine in the same spot. Hopefully this one won't be such a pain. I can't even remember what Breath of the Wild's shrine there required. You had to, like, bring something to the shrine, I'm pretty sure. I just don't know what it was. See my mini map kitty. Why are you like this? You're not even comfortable. You're just sitting and acting grumpy. friends. <laughs> the one that was on fire turned into a steak. This is cruel. Have the tables turned, friend? Oh, he disappeared. Well. Oh, they respawned. Here you are. I'm not helping you right now. I'll do a cleanup stream at some point where I just go and do all the things I've marked.
Uh. Huh. Seems like skill and confidence are less, like, in better oh. supply than they've ever been in Hyrule. Mm. Yeah, I'll do that some other time. Hi, Beetle. Hey, a new reward. Oh. Ah. Ah. I don't know where oh. Swade is. Bring him to me. There you go. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nope. Stop climbing the walls, Link. Freak. Saddle? Wonder what that even means. Oh, what the heck? Wow! Sa -sa! Oops. <laughs> Not what I wanted. <laughs> I want to sell you stuff. Hmm. Golden apples aren't even, like, worth a lot. Weird. What is your deal, golden apples? Raw gourmet meats worth a lot. Let's just sell some of my. Jeez, I'm kind of building up on these. Let's just sell some amber. I only need 50 rupees. No! <laughs> Kitty, I need you to move your head. You could at least have the decency to show up on camera if you're going to be in my way. Oh. Oh. Ah. Precious gems out of stones. Weird. Oh. See my mini map. Kitty cat. I didn't even do anything. That one was his own fault. <laughs> Ow. It's nice to see different kinds of birds in this game. It seemed like there was only one kind of small bird. Breath of the Wild. Oh good, it's another like chariot moblin. Or Bacoblins. What are you even up to? Just hanging out. Whose horse is that? Where am I headed? Back down this way. There's another stable around here somewhere, I think. I'm gonna go up to Death Mountain from here. The route is set. Kitty, please don't press buttons. My goodness. Oh, 
Okay, you're never comfortable on the mouse pad, but fine, lay down. Hey guys. Um. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We figured it out. God, they are gonna. They are going to beat him. Ah, uh, Octorok. Yeah. Just not deal with that. We have the option. We have a horse. Ooh, just lazily trotting through Hyrule. seem to have some good weapons. Or, no, I'm just a good shield. Your weapon is pretty lame, actually. It's just a stick. I'm not really spotting tons of stuff that I just have to get off my horse and go get in the woods. I feel like I usually, usually do. Huh. I wonder what happens if I ask the kid at the, at Terrytown to restore an item that doesn't go in my inventory. If I ask him to detach, like, this Talus heart. Uh. Will he actually do it, or, and it'll just, like, sit on the ground? Or will I get to keep it somehow, maybe? I don't know, I'll experiment with it later. Stupid Gleok is always gonna be up there taunting me. The blood moons happen so fast when you kill big things. At least it feels that way. Could be a coincidence so far. imagine this particular stable gets tons of visitors. Well, it might, actually. He, he taped two signs together. It might actually now that, uh, Terrytown is here. Should be... It's usually a shrine nearby. Ah. I can warp here later. Oh my god. Uh -huh. I've already got so many of those Korok seeds, and I don't know where to take them yet. Am I actually gonna have to go into the Lost Woods? Just to, uh... Just to upgrade my stuff. It seems like kind of a journey. I actually wonder if Korok seeds do something different in this game, and I haven't found out yet. Because why would I have found that out? I haven't seen Hestu.
Okay. That was two. Come back to this one. I I'm not gonna make a weapon for this. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna deconstruct something I'm already using to make the proper thing. I don't know. Maybe a big spin attack can do it. I'm not gonna bother. I don't want to bust up my weapon. I'm just gonna keep moving on. Not get so distracted. It's nice to, like, see these quests as I roam through the world, though. It'll be a nice, uh, like, cleanup stream. Probably Saturday. Or, I'm off work next week, so I might take, like, a long, chill day and just clean up all these quests. Warp around, do shrines. That whole thing. I imagine it's going to evolve a lot of Warping to a place, realizing, oh, I've already done this and it just didn't remove the stamp, and then removing the stamp. Hmm. Oh my. It would seem they have captured the bridge. This won't stand. Not while I'm around. This guy's actually dangerous. Blue. Wow. Oh. Two black moblins. Three black moblins. It's gonna be kinda rough. Okay. Got that one. Hmm. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I don't want to do this. Never mind. I, I want to do this with the actual, like, Hillian troops. I don't want to just randomly come in here and do it. So that said, I could probably just charge right through them, not worry about it. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to be meeting those guys next. I can't remember where they said to go. That's too useful to just leave there. Yeah. 
Sava Sava. Ah. Oh. She thinks she's just gonna. I mean, she probably could take out some clusters of monsters, but that one's a little tough. I wonder if the control squad will get like stronger and stronger. Like as we keep doing battles, that'd be really neat. Uh, that's not where the path goes. Where's the path? This should take me where I want to go. Yeah. Wolf. I always find these stem bulbs ah. next to these sky chunks. Is this like a Skyward Sword reference? Where these bulbs are going to grow into the stamina fruit from Skyward Sword? I remember coming out this way and then being like, whatever, I'll just, I'll just climb up. This crazy looking volcano. That's what we always do, is just climb up it. And then there's a freaking guardian like 10 feet down the trail. Like, excuse me. Um, this wasn't part of the deal. There's also a wizard robe around here somewhere. Are the Koroks building these for us to dissolve? Oops. I slot this in somewhere around here. It'll make, it'll complete the shape. I got it. Figure it out eventually. I wonder why no one ever comments on these weird structures that keep popping up. That like clearly nobody put there. And they weren't there a few years ago. Oh. Man, that would have been so useful. Why did I uh, I gotta pay attention. in the water. All right. Shouldn't be that hard to raft out and get it. It's so weird how little I miss uh, Cryonis, even though I absolutely used it a lot. <laughs> I used Cryonis so much. And I just kind of forget that it existed when I'm playing this game. I think this is the first time where I've been like, oh man, I could just cry on this, but no. I don't even know where that tablet went. We have the Pura pad now. I guess I'll just sail out there. Don't do it. I'm building. You deal with this. They're not worth my weapon durability. Destroy! Thank you.
really need like a stick or something. I've got good stuff attached to my weapons. I don't want to sacrifice any of it. Once I touch the shrine over here, I should go increase my battery size. I should have enough stuff for that now. Oh. Fine. We're gonna do this a very dumb way. Did the thing I had go? Why make it complicated? to build any fancy things. <laughs> Just do it cryonis style. Both boards. There, now that we've done that a super lame way. still helps me because I need up there now and it just started raining. I'm not going to be able to swim over and climb. So we're going to continue to use this method as long as it takes. I should do it. I still have to climb. start using this for wells at plus light I can treasure chest next to it
What? better cooking ingredients for uh, cold weather so I don't have to rely on my fuzzy pants the whole time. <laughs> it is way too easy to get distracted in this game. I was just gonna climb up, touch the shrine, and go get my battery life extended. Now I'm here. There's a tent, a little fire, a dog. Okay. Link says we're pushing the box, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm just kind of pointing the stick and it's sort of going on its own at this point. I wonder if there's a cave I can go through that will take me up to the up to the uh, Death Mountain, like Goron Town, if I ascend out of it, that'd be pretty convenient. I wonder if it's cool in the caves, and I don't have to worry about heat resistance the whole time. Kind of gonna be a race against the clock to go up the mountain. I don't have a lot of money. But I have stuff to sell if I could find, like, somebody who'd, who's buying gems, like in the first game. Make a little extra instead of just selling them normally. <clears throat> that would be awfully convenient.
Okay, good. The, day, the door stays open. To this until I've got more hearts. You know, it probably has really good durability. But yeah. I could use it for like random tasks and stuff without too much trouble. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> sure I'm using it. So I'm sure it's got tons of durability, seeing as what I had to go through to get it. <laughs> Should I start getting hurts? Nah. It'll be fine. I'll get another one from this region. That'll be, you know, enough. <laughs> I'll start getting hurts after I get my full second wheel of stamina. That's just like, that's when the gameplay, like, stamina balance, like, feels right for me, is when I have two wheels. I'm gonna get up to that and then start going for hearts. Can't interact with that, whatever it is. Well, let's see how far we can ride the horse into the Death Mountain this time. I do like traveling by horseback in this game. None of those dragonflies were real. It's a conspiracy. I forgot to actually cook. No, kitty, don't touch buttons. Careful. You know better. I forgot to actually cook my potion. Let me go do that. Oh, right, and I should also, like, touch the stable and get my point or whatever. Okay. Oh, she was not exaggerating. Even though Zelda's been acting strange, I don't think that's what she said. Oh. It is weird. Why would you take these orders and just act like nothing's wrong? Lizards. The thing I'm doing that's more important than whatever you're up to. for attack power. Nice. That's a that's going to be a great attachment for for a boomerang. 
if my theory that boomerangs will fly farther with wings attached is correct. Um, don't I have like Inox guts or anything? Something like good, but something I could get again in the foreseeable future. Ospicoblin. I must use it making my Glayok fight potion. Careful kitty. Careful. You are so uncomfortable. You can lay so many other places. Goodness. Let me move this for you. Hmm. I need this potion to last a while, but I don't want to use my best ingredients on a basic fireproof elixir. Let's try a like like stone. See what that does for me. That'll work for a while. You need two pips to go all the way up Death Mountain, but I can get part way up and get some more lizards. Oh. Uh. Hey, the Zora's domain is in the news. <laughs> oh, yeah, change in leadership for the Zoras must be like. Never in most Hylians' lifetimes. Well, except that, you know, the Zora kings and queens keep getting murdered. That's all I got, so here we go. They're dead. <laughs> not my problem. That's unbelievably stupid and not my not my issue to fix. <laughs> so I won't. Get a bigger battery, kitty. I hit my screen dim after you laid next to it. What have you done? Um. Oh. Hey, Bozu. What are you doing here? Hmm. Ah. Oh. Huh. Yes. I didn't realize he was going to open the door. I didn't think he'd have an animation for that. Hmm. 
Huh. So they're gonna send representatives to come help as we clear out those those regions. That's kind of cool. Can I? Eh. Hello. Do the thing. The thing I've been waiting for. Smash it. Smash it all. One energy well. Sweet. Oh. Huh. Well, there's gonna be you're gonna be able to really power some crazy devices by the end of the game. That's gonna be kind of wild. Um. Uh, okay. Okay, that's all I needed to do over here. Uh, back up here. I need to scope out... First of all. I need to scope out if I can find the tower in this region before I just kind of wander in. I just need to mark it so I know where I'm where I'm going. <sighs> I'm getting sleepy a little early tonight. Death Mountain is so crazy looking in this game. I. <laughs> This might sound kind of messed up, but I kind of don't want to fix Death Mountain until later. But only because I want Death Mountain to keep looking crazy through the whole game as like a landmark. It's the most obvious like reference point for where I am. Is that the one for this region? I'll just leave it pinned. Hmm. Eh, I'll figure it out. I'll probably end up just like gliding down to it later. What do I do? Okay, just touch it. So what crazy things are going to be on the road here, since there's not going to be a guardian? You know, the way the Gliok fight works was really interesting. The thing about guardians was that they were kind of cheesable if you were good at parrying. Any bone. It's on my shield now. Um. Interesting. Anyways, they were kind of cheesable if you were just good at parrying, but you can't do that with the Gliok. It's like they kind of learned their lesson to keep their boss, their mini bosses, threatening. Whoops. Because, like, I'm not very, I'm never just gonna run up to a Gliok and win. Like, that's that's gonna be a long time before that happens. I 
I don't know why. I just got really curious what, like, slightly tilting it will do. wrong oh. um Swade, <laughs> please please oh. i'm just not allowed to go in oh i think i get it mm. i think i get it when i was saying earlier i wonder if i could just go into a cave and go way up death mountain yeah that's the cave <laughs> that's the one Crows drop anything special. You thought I was going to use my own parts to finish this thing. Well. You got another thing coming. We don't waste our own gear around here. the land in these parts <laughs> we use what we got This is real slow. This is like the worst way to travel. Oh, I can make it go a little faster. anything worth pursuing really
delete that one. Hmm, it should be caves. That'll work. Oh. Sweet. Advance! Da da da. Da da la. Da da la. Da da la. Da da la. Da da So, if I cook with this and I'm making fire-related ingredients, like potions, does it enhance it? Because I felt like it didn't do that in Breath of the Wild, and it might now. A bouncy sword. No thanks. Like, like. See you there. You're already rolling huge amounts of fire at me. for breaking rocks. Huh. Dang. I was gonna, I was kind of hoping it would offer some boost, kind of like the uh, Zora weapon did. The extra power when wet or something. Kitty, you are very clearly uncomfortable. You can't cut, you can't sit down. You can't stay put. Oh, good. Um... Yeah. Excellent. Much weaker than the one I fought before. Distance.
my god. any headway on these guys because they just there's nowhere to get high ground oh my god so irritating like there's just nowhere to get high ground they're too clingy you can't set anything up Dodging them just and doing a flurry rush just gets you hit by a different one. And they keep regenerating. And that's really cumbersome to use. Just throw Phantom Ganon at you. Well, that wasn't worth it. I kind of thought that would have a better effect. Oh, I think I lose all of my gold hearts if I take gloom damage. down. You look so uncomfortable. Why don't you get comfy somewhere? Look, come here. You are such a grumpy cat right now. Come here. Nice soft spot right here. There's a big soft place for you to lay down. Right? Uh, you don't have to be so uncomfortable. I made a, such a huge place for you to lay down over there. Get out of that. Quit. You know better. Distracting.
get more hits in if I if I face it head on. And don't worry about my shield so much. It'd be a lot easier with a good one-handed weapon. You're done. How many of those do you get before he uh <laughs> before he tosses you into a pocket dimension again, huh? Surely he's not just gonna let that slide, right? Extra good at breaking rocks. So I want something with a hammer like quality like this. Is this a hammer? Hmm. Kitty, I really wish I could see. But you're so insistent on being uncomfortable right there. I don't even have like a blue horrible horn. Ah, there we go. Eleven. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Giving all the weapons like special qualities is nice. I, I like that a lot, and it really makes it really gives you a reason not to just load up on monster weapons that are powerful, because monster weapons don't have any special effects so far. I'm wondering if maybe the later game monster weapons will be like will like attach with monster parts for bonus damage or something, or have some other benefit. Oh, he's just got a boulder on a stick. Gotcha. I wonder if those hands can, like, grab my horse. Okay, I have to know. Bye. Do that. Oh. It does add attack power. Okay. It doesn't turn it into like a hammer or anything though. It doesn't seem to give it any special properties. <sighs> Whoop, not what I wanted. Actually, let's just delete you. sword is that? Soldier's broad sword? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Link. Freaking guns. Alright, Suede. Goodbye. I have to leave you here. to chew jelly on the floor. Yeah, no. Not great for this. Definitely didn't turn it into a kind of hammer. Kitty, I can't see my map. This might actually be a good place to glide down to the tower this region. Oh, hello. Um, don't mind me. 
Actually, really want this. Hold on. Um, I want this so I can. I'm gonna save in case this fails miserably for some reason, in a way that I don't expect. Gliok wing. Up. Oh. Two handed boomerang. And fuse. <laughs> oh, yes. That's nice. It's good stuff. Ice rod would probably be really handy around here. Why can I never get close to these dragonflies in this region? Oh, this time? Hey, there we go. Hey. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Just hiding out. Tower. That's the pin I placed, right? Thought I'd be able to see it by now. What is the deal with all these bones everywhere? These were not here the last time we were here. Whose bones are these? Hey. Make something out of metal that won't burst into flames. I wonder if it's also lighter than wood. No, that's like solid metal. Probably not lighter than wood. Partially intact vehicle. Is one thing, I can't bring a horse here. But these vehicles are not fast. <laughs> Whoa, easy now. What the? Oh, you guys weren't here just a second ago.
I don't know why I'm building this. Hold on. I'm about to glide out of here. I'll I'll build this when I get back. That's a shrine. So I know as soon as I build it and go anywhere, I'm gonna find the tower and glide down to it. Oh. Um <laughs> This is awkward. Get out of here. <laughs> Don't get me. What exactly is this corruption stuff that it can, like, degrade stone? But only if it's a weapon. It degrades stone weapons. And wood weapons. The same horrible, goopy looking stuff. Why can't I see it from here? Oh, there's the lights. Okay, there it is. There are the lights. You know what I haven't seen for a while? is chunks of sky place falling from the sky. I suppose that would make traveling this mountain a little too convenient. But we're about to unlock a catapult to the sky, so... Meh. Maybe that, maybe that isn't why they did it, or didn't do it. Maybe there's just nothing up there. Oh, there's a dragon. I don't know which one that is. That might be the new one? I'm pretty sure there's a new dragon. Kitty, you're doing it again. You're just going in circles because you can't get comfortable. But then you get mad if I move you from that spot. You know what would have been great? I wish I could attach things to my companion's weapon. That, that should be like the third button option. There's press shield to attach it to your shield. Press uh, attack to attach it to your weapon. Then there just should be like press jump to attach it to your spirit's weapon. But who knows, maybe I'll unlock that ability. There's a there's still a missing thing here, and I'm curious if it's actually gonna be anything cool or just like kind of a little utility thing. Boulder. Why boulder? Now what? Ah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Ha. Ah. So. It actually looks quite climbable. <laughs> the way it's like netting and stuff. Oh, okay. <sighs> this 
just wanted to stand here and regain my stamina. Were climbing speed potions a thing? Or was it just the climbing gear? Or did regular speed potions improve climbing speed? I cannot remember. It's been way too long since I played the first game. This is actually a really long climb. There's nowhere to stop. Ah, there we go. Um, Link, I need you to stand up, buddy. There we go. Gotta be kidding me. Never ending. This tower is like three times longer than every other tower I've seen, I swear. I'm not crazy. Actually, I was joking, but is this one taller than usual? They don't seem like they're as tall as the uh, Breath of the Wild towers usually. Because their purpose is to launch you up, not to like let you survey the land manually. You see, I thought he was about to tell me, oh, well, the lid blew off, so we can't use it. But he's just, like, giving me a hint. Um. Ah. Blind. Seems like a design flaw, but whatever. Did death is death mountain a chasm? Ah, oh, heck yeah, mine cards. I haven't seen these in a while. Oh, um. It has been too long since I've seen minecarts. So I want to do this. Yes. What are you doing? Oh, weirdo. Hmm. 
Oh. No. Oh. That's interesting. We'll have to come back to this. At least it's right here next to this tower, so. Very easy to reach. Yeah. I have so many. Where the heck is Hestu? grabbing as many arrows as I can find. Okay. I thought it was a treasure chest. Oh, that's really far away. I keep having this problem. But it keeps working out too, so. Whatever. This big hovering platform could have hot air balloons side to it. I mean, whatever, let's go. I don't see any reason not to. Yeah, what is going on there? Oh, it's another one of those skydiving courses. Easier than the minecart. Huh. I'll just stay there. It's there forever now. Oops. I never find any golden apples. And I don't even know if that's, like, important. I haven't found any purpose for go golden apples except that they heal, like, a little extra hearts. Like, not even a lot. Like, maybe. As much as a, as a drumstick. Like a raw one. That was weird. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. That's how fire travels. <clears throat> What's a dazzle fruit up here? It's good. It's really effective on those hands. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. No, wait. No, the one—the one where I had to bring the crystal to it. I literally brought the shrine to the shrine. Oh, it's hot. Okay. <laughs> this is where riding the minecart up would. Have... No. No, it's not. I'm not where I think.
I had to use the ancient vending machine of random building supplies. You missed Phantom Ganon. Twice. I have his spears. And one of his bows. It's a pretty cool, cool bow. But it scales based off how many hearts you have, and I only- I haven't upgraded my hearts, except that I've got a heart container in the last stream, so... But yeah, Phantom Ganon. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It doesn't look anything like the Gerudo bows that we've seen in this, uh, yeah. in these two games so far, so. A little Wind Waker action here for you. Design for horseback. Oh. Uh, well, I already put Ganondorf's ancestor, horse ancestor in the stable, so it belongs to me. Too bad for Ganon. <laughs> oh, I didn't even read your typo. <laughs> I was too busy miscalculating. Plus five boost. Guess it's better than the Lysel that I have. Kieran? Yeah, I know. You're uncomfortable because you won't go somewhere comfortable. Don't get mad at me for it when I tell you you can't sit on my keyboard. Guess I should grab this in case I, in case I need it. Dark used to be one thing. Uh, where have I heard something like that before? That seems like a lot of mythologies do something like that, right? not the Traveler's Opposite Force. Okay. Is the witness the dark thing? 
Is that the pyramids? Nobody likes you, though we understand your necessity as a game mechanic. Okay, I did already get that one. Yeah, let's get it over with so I can glide. So apparently, so Zelda has been to uh, Kakariko Village to tell the people not to go into the floating shrine. She attacked the Zora's domain with a sludge monster. And apparently she told the researchers in this area to take off all of their clothes and go fight monsters. And they were dumb enough to just take her word for it. So, I don't know what this Zelda is, but apparently... Uh, she's not just malicious, but a weirdo. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound. Places to go, got uh, why did that why did that accelerate so much? Yeah, they just sorta of did it. I'm not sure why a weirdo Zelda's floating around telling people to take their clothes off. And you know, I'm not sure I wanna know at this point. Oh right. I forgot you probably haven't been introduced to my water clone of Sidon. Yeah, he was like a proper companion during the dungeon. And now that I beat the dungeon, I just get to have him. He can this. And that. That's pretty much it. I kind of wish there was a button for activating his power instead of having to walk up to him and press A. But if I have four of these dudes, I can see how that might not work out. But like, I have this empty slot here. What's this gonna be? And why isn't it an activate sage power button? I can't see. End suffering. That can mean a lot of things. It usually means nothing good coming from a darkness creature. Huh. 
It just needs to do that to end suffering, apparently. Oh, we found out more Gerudo lore for this particular world. Since Gerudo women in this world leave uh, Gerudo Town at adulthood to, like, find boyfriends or whatever, <laughs> um, when they figure, when they, like, find the right guy and get married and settle down and have kids, um, uh, Gerudo women from Gerudo Town come to pick up their kids when they start to, you know, like, I forget the phrasing they used. It was really awkward. It was like, right before adolescence, they come and collect the children to raise them in Gerudo Town. And their non-Gerudo dad just has to be okay with this, apparently. And they don't get to see them again in, like... They, they can't, like, visit them in Gerudo Town. They're not allowed in. I'm sure they could go to Gerudo Town and visit them outside of Gerudo Town. But, you know, that's a long way, and it's through a desert, so... And yeah, she she's gonna go... One of the guys I helped out... I helped him build a town in the in Breath of the Wild. And he married a Gerudo at the end of the quest line. Because they're... As an employee of the Hudson Company... He has a strict rule that he can only marry someone if their name ends in son. Which, uh, as you can imagine, especially for women, lowers the number of people they can date. It's required by contract. That <laughs> It was a very silly quest, but now I met up with him again, and he's like, So, um, my daughter's going away for a while, and I'm not okay. So I guess I, I I guess my quest is to like find something he, he can give to her as like a parting gift to make him feel better. Yeah, you can't work for the Hudson Company unless your name ends in son, and if you work for the Hudson Company, you can't marry someone unless their name ends in son. <laughs> it's so stupid. But it was it's a very funny quest because you just you'll be adventuring through the wor world and it's like, oh we need someone who can smash rocks. Can you find someone like that for us? And you'll like randomly see a Goron. His name ends in Sun, and it's like, this guy? Is this the one? It's one of the sillier quests in the series. But you end up, like, building up a whole town, and it ends up with a really cool shop. It's a fun time. But yeah, Gerudos just collect their children and send them to Gerudo Town before ad before adolescence and then they don't get to leave until they're adults it's kind of kind of scary I haven't been to Gerudo Town yet I should, I should head over there. That's probably where I'll go next. But I, I'm working on Death Mountain right now. I don't think I can make that. That's really far. Good. Into one being, you say. Oh, wait. Let's make a hot air balloon. Nope. Why would you do that? Come back.
Ow. Hmm. Will you please cooperate? Get in there. You can do it. Ah. Stand back a little. Yeah. No. Not enough. We're too heavy. <laughs> Maybe a uh, Hylian Pinecone will change your mind. Heck yeah. <laughs> Ow. give me the distance I wanted. Just get a little up and then glide. Really don't think I'm gonna make it still. It's worth a shot. <laughs> What's he thinking about? What's going on in there? No, we're not fast enough. I have no idea where we're going to end up. I didn't pay attention at all to where I was going. We're not going to make it, though, that's for sure. Well, I guess I shouldn't say never. What is below me? Where am I? Am I over the Lost Woods or some kind of bay? It's so murky down there from through the clouds, I can't tell. Or like the sky haze. You just dive, and you try to go fast. Oh, I gotta touch the thing. Test of courage. Link was made for this. Oh yeah, the giant monster we killed dropped uh, wings as one of its things that it, it had. And it adds a lot of attack power, and wings make thrown weapons go farther. So it was like, attached to boomerang. 
enjoy results. I'm not sure it's actually making it go farther. I, I actually am not entirely sure. <laughs> kind of hard to tell. But it does add a lot of damage. So that's nice. Come here. Get in my pocket. Dang it. Okay, test of courage. I got a wingsuit the last time I did this, so... Should be worth it. Oh, these ones are moving. So the shrines are like a little jewel that grows into a rock. And one of the shrines was like just a little ring around it and no rock in the middle and it was like go find the jewel and bring it here and you'll pass the test so i did that and it just grew into the shrine i was like i literally had to bring the shrine to the shrine to get in the shrine are you serious at least those shrines usually don't actually make you do anything else once you've gotten into them they're very silly, though. I want to see more of those shrines that take away all your equipment. I got headlights. I can make a car that can travel the abyss. Huzzah. Because for some reason you can't attach the little light bulb fruits onto devices. Side on, please. <laughs> Trying to catch a ferret. to do the timed version. Go ahead, take my charge. One charge is not that much. 35. I think I did a harder one first. I think I had to do it in like 20 something seconds last time. I can't read those numbers. This game is too bright. The other one also had obstacles that would totally kill you if you hit them. Glide tights. Oh, I beat the record too. They set like the time you need to pass to get the, the glide thing, and then they set an extra time that you need to uh, get a special reward, which I guess was that big zone I charge. Looking like a D and D rogue, Link. A wingsuit would actually be a hilarious item to get into shenanigans with in D&D. Uh, in &D.
Orbital orbital barbarians are real. Oh, I was just talking about this. So in Breath of the Wild, there was an island. When you land, when you set foot on it, it takes all your gear. Did he just, he just provided the voice? I can't remember what the name of that island was. Oh, sweet. Um, but it was a shrine, basically, but you, once you set foot on the island, it takes your gear, it sets you up on the island, and you, you go. Have to, you have to get three spheres into their place. Uh, without your gear. And it's a whole thing. And it was like the shrine everyone loved to talk about. So they did more of those in this game. But I've heard people don't like these. I guess they can see in the dark. I shouldn't be too surprised. I I want to make a fire rod like what he has, and I know I can, but I, I'm kind of reluctant because I might get to keep the rubies if I don't use them. Maybe I can make him to drop his. Ow. Ow. I cannot get him to drop his. kill him and take his. Eh, well, uh, I don't have any of my food. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to deal. <laughs> Yeah, you can make your own elemental rods in this one just by throwing a gem onto a... onto a rod. Well, sneaking isn't really an option. They can see in the dark. All right, we'll do this much faster now.
That'd be nice. Oh, a bow. I don't have any arrows. You didn't drop any arrows. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. <laughs> Cade's back. Is Nathan Fillion back? Or just, like, the ghost of Cade that doesn't talk? <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you running? <laughs> oh, he's in the teaser. Cool. <laughs> well, I bet that's good for... I bet that feels good for a lot of people. I also bet that it's, uh, if, I bet it cheapens some things for some people. I imagine that's a little divisive. A bright elixir. Uh, elixir. Blech. Did I get to keep the rubies? I think I did. I think I had like nine, eight or nine. Cool. Oh, right. I forgot. Zavala's voice actor passed away. That is a thing that happened, isn't it? Seriously, what is going on down there? Is that the Lost Woods? Why does it look like that? <laughs> yeah, this is Lost Woods. <laughs> Go to what though? It's just a swirl. There's a shrine. Oh my. The Lost Woods too. Even lostier. 
I don't even know where the ground is. <gasps> well, wouldn't you know it, we got lost. Cool. <laughs> it is certainly the Lost Woods. I recognize that island. What the heck? How do we... The sky is purple. Oh no. So getting into the Lost Woods is gonna be a little weirder than last time. In fact, I'm not certain I even can go right now. It seems to be off limits. <laughs> Where to go? Where's my boomerang? Woods is extra sketchy right now. That's a rocket. Found a rocket. Maybe I can get under the Lost Woods and go up. I'm gonna have to try that later. For now, we have to continue our adventure in Elden. Because I'm not seeing an obvious way forward here. seems to be a structure with a giant rock meat on it. Huh? 
Alright. <laughs> hmm. Instead of blocking their food supply, Ganondorf gave them gluttony. <laughs> The whole menu has been eaten. Hmm. Egg. Hot spring. Boiled egg. <laughs> no, I don't know why they bothered to put that in the game. Yanobo is the name of the new Goron champion from the last game, I think. This has been strange and not enlightening. hot in the caves, but I feel like it would normally be, I should normally need a level one fireproof by now, I thought. Yep, we're all the way on fire then. Make sure I'm collecting those and not chasing them off. I have no idea how much work getting fireproof armor is going to take in this one. It was just expensive last time. But they, these things seem to be associated with quests usually now. And I only had enough lizards for one potion, and it wasn't even a very good one. So I gotta get Fireproof stuff. I am not helping you right now, sir.
Okay, I thought he was holding an explosive barrel. It's another one of these rock roast things. Yeah, he was just like, last time I tried starving them, this time I tr I'll try gluttony. That's just what's happening this time. Building supplies. I don't know what I need metal bars and a boulder for. those and take the supplies. What? Ah! A bomb. They're dropping bombs. They're definitely more clever under Ganondorf's leadership. That's undeniable. like how there's no ladder because he could just actually climb up there. Moblins and their ability to climb up to places without ladders. Preventing my sneak attacks. This is such a much more subtle mystery of what's going on in this place than the last time. The last time we were here and there was trouble, there was a giant robot lizard on the mountain, like, making it kind of erupt. <laughs> it's a little different. There's just some mysterious rock meat that's making everyone act weird this time.
Does anything happen if I put a rocket on my shield? What about on a weapon? It's a rocket-powered spear now. Cool. I'll take it. A little monster encampment up there. What in the world? as far away as I thought. What did they do to the Goron statue? Um. I'm concerned. Also, I would definitely need a fireproof elixir by now. It's kind of weird that I don't need one and I'm right outside the town. You used to need uh, a level one. <laughs> don't approach me. But you used to need a level one fire protection to get this far and then you needed uh, uh, too weird. Level two to go past the town. All right, what? Oh, you're so oh. weird. Ah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Three rupees for all your ore. No. Huh? What is happening? <laughs> That's like the weakest scam I've ever seen. Mm. No. Well, I guess she would have saved me if I accidentally clicked yes. Oh. Uh. Mountain stopped erupting. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Link immediately. Wait, I almost just got ripped off. Please. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh, I think I do have a ton of amber I don't need. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Heck yeah. Eh? Tuxo means thank you. Yeah. I've been to Gerudo Town. Uh, just the outside of it, of course. Because I'm not allowed inside. I definitely didn't team up with your chief to take down the uh, giant sandstorm that was plaguing your region. Kids these days certain it, shortened it to start. How ah. rude. Shortening words. Mmm. Oof, 10 topazes for a thousand rupees. Mm -hmm. Let me check. I don't want to have no topazes, but I also don't have enough silver. Okay. I'd like to have at least one topaz in case I decide I need a uh, lightning rod. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. I'm going to break it.
That should be enough lizards for a good fireproofing. But if I could get the fireproof armor, I could make attack up potions that increase my attack power in, you know, high heat. But so that's pretty good. I don't know who Capetta is, but I'm reading their diary. He's wearing a strange mask. <laughs> This all sounds very terrible. Novo's wearing a weird mask and treating everyone to weird food that's making them gluttonous. Horribly gluttonous. Does that mean you're selling it for less? No. Curses. Why did my flameproof gear have to explode from corruption or whatever? Well, as soon as I can get some topazes for that Gerudo lady. I can afford some fireproof gear. That'll be convenient. Mm. Whoa. Elders aren't allowed to eat the rock roast. Weird. A Goron massage. Yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. So it's just not burning hot here anymore. How weird. Hmm. He warned them. He warned him. You darn kids and your vices. Hey. I know that voice. Even just from hey. Uh. You all talking about marble rock roast, are ya? He's not just wearing a weird mask. He's decked out in weird crap. There's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Huh? What could you want? Well, there's no children sell out their families for Turkish delight. Nope, it's marbled rock roast this time. Huh. So, this guy was like a huge wimp in the last game. I don't know what's happening to him. 
And he was like, super thankful when Link came and saved the day. Mm. Is he just the villain from... <laughs> uh... Megamind? Is he just Titan now? As soon as he gets a little power, he immediately becomes a jerk. Hey. No. Who's impressed? Who's in charge of Goron Town? You are. Who's in charge of the big company in Goron Town? You are. So he's telling off the chief. Yo. Uh, apparently, beating some sense into you. Locks? Does that mean hair? Why would you? Oh. Huh. So you've been meeting with Zelda about the special fancy rock roasts that are causing everyone to get all weird and gluttonous and slothy. Even the, you know, the same Zelda that apparently told the uh, research team to explore naked in the volcano, <laughs> and they just did it. <laughs> and away they go. I always forget Goron's roll around until they just do it. Well, mm -hmm. where is oh, it's kind of up the road some. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's really convenient that. Uh, the Death Mountain isn't a volcano, like, active right now, as a volcano, anyways. That's pretty nice. Ah. Oh. The handles? On his rock roast? Uh. Yeah, I don't know. A rock that looks like a bone through a cartoony piece of meat is what they seem to be. But they usually don't glow like this. Ah! I didn't mean to touch it, it's hot. <laughs> Link just can't help but clamber up stuff. Oh, an intact weapon. You don't see those very often. The mask is made with strange material. Okay. Fragile boulder breaker. Sad. Am I bothering you? Can you work? Alright, let's head up the road. See what 
Unovo's up to. The kindly, wimpy oh. guy that is now a jerk. <gasps> you don't read the newspaper? My god. How else would you know that we invented the printing press since you were passed out or since time passed since the last game or whatever happened? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Ask about the great oh. mystery. Okay, what's up the great mystery? Gorons used to live underground. Oh. And there's a place called, called Gorondia. Oh. Hmm. Oh. I don't think that's right. <laughs> My water clone is stronger now. Apparently I can't uh, get stamina until I do that, so. Gimme, gimme. Hooray, I fixed my rendering error. <laughs> that only showed up with the stamina vessels for some reason. told me not to let Link near the near the company, but I don't know what he looks like, and I'm eating rock roast. Also, there's a cart straight ahead. All right. Yeah, it's almost like making your guards slothful on purpose makes your scheme harder to pull off in the long run. Huh. There are monsters literally over the ridge from your town, guys. What's up with that? What in the world? It's like a mini chasm. Hold on. I wonder if getting near that will make Phantom Ganon show himself again so you can see him. I'm gonna try to get near that without alerting the, uh, the Koblen. Oh, there's some other one. The Ganon juice leaking out of the ground. That's not gonna make him come after me. I think after I, I think I had to beat a temple before he would start appearing, but sometimes a bunch of hands just come out of the ground and chase me around for a while. And if I beat them up, Phantom Ganon shows up and he's made of red evil juice. And he's attacked me twice just tonight, and I had heard about weird hands that chase you around from my co-worker, but I hadn't seen it. So I think beating the temple is what triggered it. Why are they putting lights in the eyes of all the statues? That's so weird. Oh.
That's quite a way to be dressed on a volcano. Even if the volcano is mostly not, uh, active. Uh... Amazing treasure in the old ancient city of Gordonia. This does not sound real. I'm. I don't think. Oh, there's a rock stapled to it. Why is there a rock stapled to it? I don't think Goron City has ever been called anything but Goron City in this whole series. Oh, there's a troop of Moblin or Bacoblins. That one has a boulder on a stick. That one's got a bag full of meat. What are what is with the ones that carry meat in a bag? What are they after? What are they like? What's their strategy? I wonder if I could just push this. To get it going. Yep. Okay, no. Hmm. What's going on there? Ah, geez. <laughs> Bananas. I haven't even seen bananas. Ah. Tracy found bananas. They were a cleverly laid trap from the Yiga clan ah. that loves bananas. nearby, huh? Let's put a treasure down. Oop. I'll just put a little treasure chest down here and check it out later. Now what the heck? Well, they're safe to touch. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about this right now. This might be the cave she was talking about. Huh. I forget what this dragon is called. Can I take a picture of it? Dinral, that's right. I knew it was Din something, but that part was obvious. Well, I don't even need to take the minecart. To the HQ, I can just walk. It's not even that far. Alright. What are you trying to pull over here?
When entering a sizzling hot cave, remember to prepare your soft, flammable skin against the heat. Right. <laughs> Oops. And then, you know, soak up to your sh shoulders in a hot bath. I'm sure that part's equally important. here yeah all the gorons that live here aren't working here because they are obsessed with this one thing hmm that seems to be full of ganon malice If I can get two more topazes, or one more, I can get the money, but if I can get two more, I can get the money and have a topaz left for emergencies. But for now, I'll keep collecting lizards. It's not a huge task. This is not looking good. <laughs> There are just malice veins running down the mountain. So I wonder if I give a rusty weapon to one of these Octo Rocks, like you could in the first game. Uh, if I get, like, a pristine weapon back, or if it's still, like, a corroded, weird, Ganony weapon. <laughs> He's talking about Marvel Drakros with the blonde lady. Sure is. I could probably help if you'd let me in. Like, you're not supposed to. I mean... I've totally been here before. And we're not strangers, right? <sighs> How long do Goron's take to grow up? Were you here when I saved this place? Like, five years ago? I'll work on it. Nice. The children convinced themselves to trust me. How convenient. Uh, yeah, if they're gonna be like cutscenes and stuff, I guess I should. Let's see, what do I have to sell? I don't know what anything's worth. I don't know why I'm looking at it in my own inventory. Hi. 
might be more convenient though than just using my potion. Oh. Ah, a dark clump sells for five rupees. Hmm. <laughs> a star fragment could be useful. But I could also sell it for 200 rupees. And why couldn't she have asked for sapphires or rubies? I have those. Sell some of these opals. Then Gliot guts over 200 rupees. Nice. I'm definitely going to use those, though. So I don't want to sell them. Nope, not all. Why did I do that? Since apparently I'm going to need to be flame resistant just to go and view cutscenes. All I need is a special shirt and we're plenty flame resistant for these shallow caves. Yeah, that is her. What's going on here? Couldn't do that before. That's new. God, we're fighting. Cracking his mask. <laughs> oh, parrying him doesn't work. I kind of hoped parrying it would be a convenient way to do this.
That works, I guess. Sure, just get stuck in the ceiling and I'll shoot the mask off you. Easier for me. Hmm? <sighs> so Zelda's evil. Confirmed. <laughs> huh? Oh. Huh. She left the building. Huh? Walked right past me. I didn't even try to stop her, I guess. Huh? <laughs> well, we have angered her. She is now going to bury us. Look so weird. And I'm not sure what they remind me of. Huh? Yay. He's getting his sage voices. see where I'm going when I charge. Hey, you were pretty on target when you were fighting me a second ago. Huh. Here I go! Oh, cool. Well, this is going to be a fun sage power to get to keep. The water shield is neat, but this is kind of awesome. Away they go. <clears throat> hmm. Huh? Mm. Well, I mean, the last time I saw her, she disappeared into a blip of light, so. Huh. What's that red haze about? That's been happening for weeks, dude. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. I, I'm really thinking that the haze is, like, gonna be a chasm that leads to the underground from the top of Death Mountain. Ah. Huh. So he went up to investigate. Zelda was there, put a mask on him, and started making him be mean to people. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Oof. Yep. It's midnight. I gotta stop for the night. <sighs> Kitty, you pushed my mouse all the way under my monitor. You are so fidgety. This is a good place to stop. The, uh... The mystery... is unraveling. I don't need to mark that. It's right next to the objective marker. Just a convenient... I love the shrines that are, like, obviously just a convenient warp place. For, uh, for later. So you can warp to where you need to go. So, yeah, there isn't a sky structure here like there was over Zora's Domain. So this time around, we are going to be exploring the volcano. Very cool. Let me see if I have anyone to raid. Kitty, you are such a brat. You have been on my mouse pad just this whole time. No, nope. don't want to hear me. Sure. 
The only one of my followed channels that's on. Oh, no, there are two. Anyways, this was a lot. It's, things are weird here in Death Mountain. And uh, we're going to figure it all out tomorrow. And not Friday. I'm busy Friday. Anywho, good night.